Hi, welcome to my channel. This video is regarding Mongo database CRUD operations. CRUD basically means create, read, update and delete. So for any database system, these are the basic operations which happens on the database. You either create data into the database or you read data from the database or update existing data or delete the data from the database. So we will learn in this video how the CRUD operations happens in the case of Mongo. So let's start with create operations. In Mongo, create is done by inserting the documents using insert command. So for example, if you want to insert a document in a collection named users, you will be using db.users.insert and you will be providing the document in a key value pair. So to insert the data into my Mongo database, I'm going to log into my Mongo shell. To learn about the introduction of Mongo and how to install Mongo, check out my previous videos. I provided the link in the description. So you can see the default databases admin config and local are present in this. Now I'll show how to insert the data. So when we insert the first document, the database will be created. So, for example, if I want to create a database school, I am going to insert my first document into the collection student. So, I am going to insert a field, say name, John. And I am going to insert a field age of, say, 3. So, you can see the data has been inserted. We can also insert multiple documents into our collection using a for loop. So since Mongo supports JavaScript, we can use JavaScript codes to do our operations. So here I am inserting 30 documents using the for loop. So I am using db.student.insert name say hello and age as i so the write has been successful so this is how you create multiple documents in our collection now let us look at how read operations work in mongo database so for read operations we use the find command so the syntax is db dot collection name dot find so for example if you want to find a record in an employees collection you will be using db dot employees dot find and you can provide the query as in like a where clause in a mysql and also you can provide the projection as you provide a select field name in a mysql let us now look how we will read the student collection in which we had inserted the data so I'll be using db.student.find. So by default, only first 20 documents will be returned using the find command. We can use the iterator it to print the next 20 documents. You can also use db.collection.find1 to print a single record. You can also store the read value in a variable. Say I'm storing it in a variable val and I can print each document by using val.next. You can also query the collection as per our requirement. So for example, I want to query only the documents with name John. So it will return only the single document which is having the name John. We can also use projections to display only the fields which we want to display in our output. So for example, if I don't want to display underscore ID, I can set it as zero. So this will not display the underscore ID value in the result. If I want to eliminate age also, I'll set age to zero. So it will not display the age. 
So now let us look at the update operations. The syntax for update is like db.collectionName.update and you can provide the query for which you want to do the update and the update statement. So for the, in this example, if you want to update the employees whose age is greater than 25 and we are setting the field company as ABC XYZ, you can use this query. So let us look how the update query works. So for this particular document where the name is John and age is 3, let us try to update the document in the collection student. So I'll use db.student.update and I'll use the query. The query is for the name John and I'll set the age as 20. So you can see that one record has matched and that record has been modified. So if I try to find the record, you can see it has been changed from age 3 to 20. So this is how the update query works. So update statement also have some optional parameters which you can use in your query. First one is absurd. So what absurd does is it updates the document and if the document is not present, it will insert the document which you have tried to update. So for example, in the student collection, I'll try to update the document with name Sal. I'm trying to set the age as 23 for Sal. So you can see there is no matched record so nothing is modified. So if I use the same query and I use an optional parameter absurd and I set it is to true. And see there is an upset document. So since there was no document of name Sal, there has been a new document created with name Sal. So if I try to query that I can see that for Sal, a new document has been created. Similarly, there is an another parameter which is optional known as multi. So what it does is it updates all the documents which matches our query. So in a normal update, it will only update the first matching document which matches our query. So for example, in my student collection, there are three documents with name John. So if I try to do an update for name John, and I try to set age as 30, and if I set absurd as true, and the second parameter multi also as true, so you can see three documents have been matched and all the three have been modified. So if I query the document John, you can see all the age of the document name John have been modified to 30. So next we'll look at the last operation, which is the delete operation. So the delete operation in Mongo is done by the remove method. So the syntax is db.collectionName.remove. Then the query for the particular document which you want to remove. And there is an optional parameter to state whether you want to remove multiple documents or just the first returning document. So if you want to remove the document from the collection student with name Harry, you can simply put up the query inside the remove method like this. So when it matches this query, it will remove the particular document. Thank you for watching my video.